Hey guys, this is a warning for you guys to never, I mean, essentially MetaZoo, in my opinion, is very similar to crypto. Uh, in fact, some of the people who love crypto, like Steve Aoki and even Gary Pokemon King, um, they were big fans of crypto. They are probably still big fans of crypto today. Uh, they were heavily involved in this game. And it goes from you know, a small game whose Kickstarter honestly didn't raise that much money. I think it was like 10, 13. It wasn't, uh, it was the second Kickstarter, which the dude got greedy, that raised the almost $2 million. It was like $1.6, $1.7 million. But the original Kickstarter did not raise that much money until a Alpha Investments got involved and with his promos. And the hype was real. So I don't want you guys, like, when we look at these prices where I don't know how much CGC charges a grade a card, but I assume it's more than five dollars uh, with free shipping. You know, this guy's definitely losing money. This still wings individual is losing quite a bit of money, I assume, because he's got a he's got to grade it. B, I mean, some of the PSA, I know it's like fifteen dollars bulk submission. Six months is how long it takes. Clearly, uh, with free shipping, eBay fees probably taking in maybe a dollar fifty he, he probably just wants to get rid of it he just wants to get rid of it he, he's not making any money on selling a psa graded card for 4.99 with free shipping that gets one bid you know he's doing it because he probably doesn't want to look at it anymore because it reminds him of a time the card might have been worth grading right so the card might have been for in my opinion for you to grade a card the card should be worth at least double, right? $30 of the grading fee, and you're hoping that it gets a good grade. So let, let's talk um, a little bit. Oh, there's AGS. That's another crypto grading company, I believe, that has AGS coin. So I'm not surprised they graded uh, this with AGS over there. When you talk about these card games as an investment, as a hyped asset, uh, and the same thing I talk about crypto. Crypto, I think, is very similar to MetaZoo. I think MetaZoo is very similar to CryptoZoo, which is Logan Paul's thing. Is you have people, and the people may not actually have the customer's best interest in mind. So if the idea is to make a card game, why the Mother FAR box is $820? Like our second box, right? Imagine if Pokemon came out with Pokemon Base. And then it was so popular, and they knew it was popular, but the next set jungle was eight times the price. You'd be like, wait, what? Like, why? Right? Like, <laughs> like who, who would be able to afford to pay this much money? Um, when you look at the prices today, this tells me there's a lot of inventory. The fact that people are willing to sell boxes for less than $5 a box tells me, A, there must be a ton of inventory because these sales keep, there, there's no, and there's very, there's a lot of supply and there's very little demand for this card. So all the demand, all the Argos Anonymouses, all the, all those people, right, who love MetaZoo, I mean, why aren't you bidding on this stuff now? Like, where are you now? I mean, literally, you could buy a whole day's worth of auctions for less than $500. That's less money than I do on one very tiny buy list. In fact, it was uh, a buy list for $800 I turned down today. That That's nothing. For a game, like just imagine from like a game store or from somebody like Alpha Investments position, these boxes are nothing. You know, $5 a box, $5 a graded card, um, if you truly love it, now is the time to buy it, right? I mean, why? Buy, I mean, take take uh, Nightfall. I mean, Nightfall is less than twenty dollars a box now, or take Native. Like, if you're gonna buy Native at one hundred, you can buy two and a half Native boxes at forty now. Isn't that like a much better deal? Um, I compare. I was talking to my girlfriend. Maybe we'll get her on this. Maybe do a podcast uh, with like a. Uh, she doesn't want to appear on the video, but so might do like a vlog uh, or VTubing thing. Um, for Squishmallow, we buy Squishmallows when they're 70% off, and we don't really care what the ha ha heck it looks like. So during the holidays, uh, Kroger's and Target and the mall, Claire's, <laughs> Claire's also put Squishmallows. Uh, they, so the Squishmallow is really expensive. Let's say it's like $30. The real value is only like 15 
but the day after the holiday, it goes on clearance for 70%. And therefore, a $30 item now only costs $9. So that's a pretty good deal. And we buy Squishmallows. Well, this is a 90% off discount. You can be sure that if Inuyasha, if Fire Emblem Cipher, if any of these games from MSRP go 90%, and Fire Emblem Cipher, their cards are more expensive than they were when the game was living. Meta X, I don't really know. I haven't checked in there, but I know seal boxes are rare. I know the Attack on Titan seal boxes that I used to get for like $40, $50 distribution price is much, much more expensive now. It's like 100 120 A lot of these other dead card games have actually gone up in price, doubled, tripled in price, because as the years go along, the booster boxes get more and more rare. Uh, my first edition in Yasha booster box, I bought for 100 I think it's worth 200 But back in the day, you could buy it for 15 or $20. And on clearance, you could probably buy for $10. So this is a very interesting scenario where, you know, if this was Squishmallows, I know my girlfriend would buy it all. We would go on eBay every day and buy out everybody. Because there's A, I mean... Like, if you are going to pay $8,200, like, $8,200 just gets you five Meta Zoo Nightfall first of this, and you get some Rudy playmats and so on. $8,200. I mean, what can that get you in Meta Zoo right now? Like, like seriously. What do you think $8,200 can get you in Meta Zoo today? So, if you're going to buy $8,200 in Meta Zoo for just five boxes... Hell, man, you could probably buy a thousand boxes. Again, maybe it's not apples to apples, but I'm sure somebody sitting on a thousand boxes is like, oh, wow, that's a pretty good deal. Because these people are paying eBay fees. These are people who are getting paying grading fees. They're paying shipping fees, free shipping. There is no, in, in no universe, it, like, should a collectible that you enjoy and love be at this discount. And, and it just tells me there's no actual demand. To the people who said all those nice things, like Argos Anonymous about this game, they don't actually believe in it. Like, now is the time to buy it, because maybe it is a dead card game, but dead card games have done pretty well in the past. Um, I can speak about Fire Emblem Cypher. There's still $500, $600 cards that sell pretty frequently. The Byleth is, uh, I think last time I lost an auction, it was like $380 I lost it at. I was ready to pay for under eighty dollars plus tax and shipping, probably four hundred plus. Uh, for a lot of the Fire Emblem older booster boxes, they do go for quite a bit of money. I'm just kind of wondering, like, if you believe in Crypto Zoo, and Crypto Zoo gets back to the hundred, two hundred dollars a box, well, buying a box for ten dollars is is, I mean, it's a blessing, right? And where are those people? If this happened to Fire Emblem. And unfortunately, I only got into the game two years after it died and all the prices were relatively sky high and they're, they're climbing. I would buy it all. I would buy every single card and get play sets of uh, the most rare cards. Where are those people? Because they clearly are not on eBay.